Okay, oil and gas producers, let's get you out of the dark. Most producers don't realize they're flying blind until it's already cost them. Not in stolen oil, though that happens, but in something far more common. Deferred production, a down well or compressor that nobody caught, a tank that ran over because nobody knew how full it was. You find out when the pumper shows a day or two later, and by then it's already too late. In this video, I want to walk you through why visibility, not just data, is the most valuable thing most producers are missing. We'll talk about how most folks are set up today and why that approach used to work and why it doesn't anymore. Because $60 oil today is not the same as $60 oil in 2018. Back then, margins were rich. Today, tubing, casing, rods, fuel, labor, every input cost is up 50 to 100%. COVID wiped out a third of the oil field service labor force. Vendor competition dried up, and a lot of the older, more experienced hands simply walked. This has created a higher floor on costs and thinner margins across the board. So now, producers are being forced to do more with less, and the ones at visibility are the ones still staying profitable. Just to give you some context, we built the smartphone first oil and gas production platform called Greasebook. Over the past few years, it's become the fastest growing app in the oil patch. Now, I'm not a production engineer, I'm not a pumper. But the software we built today helps manage the daily operations of more than 10,000 pumpers and tens of thousands of wells. So my background in oil and gas production might be an inch deep and a mile wide, but what I do know how to do is scale systems across scattered teams, where guys in the field and folks back in the office are working on trust, gut feel, and not enough hours of the day. And because hundreds of independent operators now lean on us to build tools that fit how they actually work, we're able to invest in software and hardware, no single operator could just apply on their own. Once these tools are dialed in, we kick them right back to the field so folks like you can pump more oil, waste less time, and run a tighter, more profitable operation. So let's talk about how most operators still operate today. You got leases scattered across counties and a pumper driving a set route every morning. He shows up, gauges the tank, jots down his numbers, and he drives to the next site. And obviously we all hope that nothing critical got missed. Maybe the numbers get to the office, maybe not. Maybe something feels off. There's no way to know for sure until somebody shows up tomorrow at the same time. That's not visibility, that's hope. And hope is not a strategy. And look, most pumpers I work with are really good. They care, they work hard, but they're stretched really thin. I mean, I know guys running 40, 50, 60 leases solo, trying to hold it all together with a clipboard and a cell phone. So when something goes wrong, tank overflows, a compressor shuts down, an engine throws a belt, they're not gonna catch it to the next day or maybe even a few days later. And that's where your margin bleeds. So that's why we built the tiny pumper. We didn't build this thing for horizontals doing 500 barrels a day. We built it for the five barrel a day wells, the one SCADA ignores because it doesn't pencil out. Tiny pumper installs in 10 minutes. There's no trenching, no app tops, no tech guy needed, just a device, two AA batteries and your smartphone. So you get real-time tank levels, pressure readings, turbine meter totals, and instant visibility across every lease. So now your pumper starts the day with a plan. He knows where to go. He knows what needs help, what he can potentially skip, and what he can. So there's no more milk runs. There's a dramatic reduction in windshield time. Just better use of your time, resources, and your people. And if all Tiny Pumper did was help you call in loads on time to keep cash flow moving, catch failures before they snowball, and stop wasting time on leases that don't need attention, it wouldn't just pay for itself to become one of the highest ROI tools in your entire operation. So in the next video, which we've linked below, I'll walk you through the economics. You'll see how Tiny Pumper pays for itself in weeks, not months, and why the math works out even on a three barrel day lease. So folks, I know stripping ain't easy, and I appreciate what you guys do. I also want to thank you for the opportunity to share some what you learned along the way. So a handshake across the miles, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.